involve me and I will understand. Schooling is not always about classroom learning. It is not confined to books and academics only. It involves multi-layered learning to sculpt a child into a multitudinous individual. And both curricular and co-curricular activities are the pivot of holistic learning in schools. This is why our school gives us several opportunities to participate in such activities. Student-led conference is one such activity. SLCs strengthen values like teamwork, cooperation, leadership, boost our confidence in public speaking, technical skills, love for research, besides providing us with a launch pad to showcase our learning. A very warm good evening to one and all present here. I feel privileged to extend a warm welcome to everyone for the student-led conference. I extend a hearty welcome to Honorable Principal Sir, Vice Principal Sir, Headmistress Ma'am, respected teachers, valuable parents, and my dear friends. I hope that today's evening will be one of the most enjoyable for each one of us. Invoking God's blessings is very necessary before starting an auspicious event. And Goddess Saraswati is an embodiment of wisdom, knowledge, and learning. Let's seek her blessings. So before we bring you the exhibition of talent, let's welcome the students of grade 11 PCM group to invoke the blessings of Saraswati Vandana. Wow, this melodious song has filled the whole atmosphere with positive energy. The quality of life is determined by its activities. Extracurricular activities not only add a zeal to the learning process, but also result in the all-around development of the students when integrated with academics. 
co-curricular activities help develop essential skills like teamwork, cooperation, preparation, and planning. A school provides all students with an opportunity to participate in group activities like summer bonanza, dance competitions, Christmas celebrations, which bring a lot of entertainment and thrill to the schooling, besides club, inter- and intra-class competitions. Activities organized at the national level under Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, like writing postcards and bookmarks, help develop writing, expression, drawing, creativity, and other essential skills. Our school continued conducting all the extracurricular activities even during the pandemic, when all the physical means of attending the classes were inaccessible. The school faculty conducted virtual classes using whiteboards for better illustration. Activities like fitness, art and yoga classes were also held virtually. The students were insisted to turn on their cameras to ensure maximum participation. Although the students didn't share same classes, yet they were able to make new friends. Activities like Math Fest and Summer Bonanza developed creativity and innovation among the students. The regularity of the network classes helped the students to keep up with their punctuality. Teachers, after covering each topic, asked for a verbal feedback from the students. Even the teachers responded to our study-related messages during the off hour. I really enjoyed the online activities conducted and never felt that the schools were closed at that time. So let's take a walk through the picture gallery of all the activities held throughout the year. Now, we are going to showcase our learning of the academic year 2021-22. Our first presentation is on orthography, the study of spelling and how it are combined to represent sounds and form words, and pronunciation errors in English, followed by a presentation on simplifying physics with the help of interesting experiments for you. Language is more fashion than science, and matters of usage 
spelling and pronunciation tend to wander around like I'm like. Good evening to all present here. We, the students of grade 11 PCM group, are going to talk about our subject of interest through our presentation of various subjects like physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, physical education, and computer science. But who do you guess what is going to be common in all of these presentations? Yes, it's the language you're communicating in. That's English. But in order to communicate effectively, one must have strong vocabulary, correct pronunciation, and strong knowledge about the subject they are talking about. But at times, we tend to make errors while speaking. Through our presentation, we are going to give you a glimpse of orthography. Now let us combine to form words and represent sounds and also talk about common errors in pronunciation. Over to Chavi for the next part of the presentation. Thank you, Harshit. Do you know that one of the most commonly mispronounced words is Wednesday? People call it as Wednesday, but the correct pronunciation is Wednesday, which is the day of week before Thursday and following Tuesday. Wednesday. The next word is vegetable. And most of the people say it as vegetable, but which is wrong. The correct pronunciation is vegetable, which is the part of plant which we use as food. Vegetable. Yes, Charvi. Vegetable and Wednesday are some of the most mispronounced words. However, there are some more I like to add to the list. And one of them is bowl. B O W L. A round deep dish or basin for food or liquid. But how many people mispronounce it as bowl, which is something different? Bowl. Oh. And the other word is cough. Cough means to expel air from lungs with a sharp sound, but usually mispronounced as cough by people. And the list goes on. Two more words I would like to add to the list. One of them being breakfast. Usually mispronounced as breakfast. The correct pronunciation is breakfast. It is the first meal of the day after waking up. Breakfast. Another word is comb. People mispronounce it as comb, but the last B is silent and it is accurately pronounced as comb. It is a piece of plastic which is used to arrange and style the hair. I would like to add some words which I hear pronounced wrong every other day. Plumber. A plumber is a person who fits and repairs the pipes, fittings and sanitation. It is mispronounced as plumber instead. Plumber. Receipt. A receipt is the action of receiving something or the fact of it being received. It is mispronounced as receipt instead. Receipt. There are many other words which are pronounced wrong, some of which are dead as debt, debris as debris, data as data, cabin as cabin, and jewelry as jewelry. Monk as monk, etc. as etc. Pronunciation as pronunciation, dessert as dessert, stir as steer. How can you improve your pronunciation? Listen to English speakers on audio and talk along with them. Record yourself to identify pronunciation weaknesses. Watch English movies. Try communicating in English with your friends. I hope. You all liked our presentation. Thank you. If you break the law of humans, you will go to jail. If you break the law of God, you will go to hell. But if you break the law of physics, you go to Sweden to collect your Nobel Prize. Good evening, esteemed parents, teachers, all other respected dignitaries and my dear friends. Today our group is presenting some magical physics tricks. Number one. We know that normally if a balloon is kept over a flame, the balloon pops. But what happens when a balloon filled with water is kept over a flame? 
let's say fill a balloon with water and hold the water balloon over a candle. We see that the balloon does not pop and only gets black. And why does this happen? This is because rubber begins to melt at around 120 degrees Celsius, but water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So when a flame touches an air balloon, rubber weakens quickly and the balloon pops. But when the flame touches a water balloon, most of the thermal energy is transferred to water instead of rubber, so it does not pop. Water has a specific heat capacity of 4200 joule per kilogram Kelvin, whereas that of rubber is 1600 joule per kilogram Kelvin. This water requires a large amount of heat to raise its temperature. Water absorbs thermal energy of the flame as its temperature rises slowly, so the balloon with water does not reach its melting point and therefore does not pop. Number 2. We turn on a bit of water and then with the help of a cone and a balloon, we create friction. We bring the charged cone near the water and see that it can bend the stream of water. This is because the cone gets charged after being wrapped over a balloon and so it can attract the molecules of water in the stream very easily. Number two, use four straws to make a square shaped frame. Now take dish and pour some water. Mix water with a dish soap and stir it until the soap dissolves in water. Now take a thread to make a loop. When a frame is dipped inside a soap liquid and then taken out, there appears a thin film inside the frame. Now, if a small loop of thread dipping inside the soap solution is placed on the thin film of the frame, it will be seen that the loop keeps itself in the random shape. Now, if the inner portion of the loop is pierced by a pencil, it will be seen that loop instead of remaining random has become circular. So it can be said that when there was film inside the loop and a tangent of a surface is equal and opposite forces were active and result in force balance. So the loop is random but when it is pierced then there was no force so it experienced outward tension and the loop became stressed and shape was circular. It is evident one type of tension is active on the surface liquid this tension is surface tension. So surface tension is tendency of liquid surface at rest to shrink into the minimum surface area possible. Wow, that was a wonderful presentation. We hope you must have enjoyed it. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Of course, none of us have ever experienced any dull moments even when the entire world, including us, was working online. Thanks to the various activities we had in virtual classes. So, to add a little fun to the show and give you a glimpse of such virtual games, now, we have an amazing game for you. I will be presenting the game in a minute. In this game, I will show you some emojis on the screen and you will have to guess a word from those emojis. For example, if this is the question, the answer will be sun plus glasses give sunglasses. You will get 10 seconds to answer for each round. Please unmute yourself and answer as soon as you guess the word. So let's get started. The first question is here on your screens. The time has begun. Please answer. Please try. Rainbow. Yes, you guessed it right. Rain plus bow, rainbow. Moving on to the next question. Lipstick. Lipstick. Yes. Lipstick. Lip plus stick, lipstick. The third question. It's easy one. Toothbrush. 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 Yes, no. It's toothbrush. 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 Brush, brush. It's toothbrush. Now it's a tough one. Let's see who guesses it. Facebook. 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 Yes. It's Facebook. Facebook. Yes. It's Facebook. Now the last question. Earrings. Earring. Earrings. Ear plus ring. Earring. Thank you for participating so enthusiastically. Now, 
I would happily invite Mrs. Kamla Khatri to present her views about the school and its amazing faculty. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Kamla Khatri. Ma'am, you're not audible. Please try to unmute yourself and answer. I think there is a network issue. Please move, move ahead, Anchor. We all know that the upcoming age is going to be digital. Each and every task will be made to be done digitally. We all are familiar with the names like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and know how big these digital startups can grow. So now we are with the students of computer science with their self-created game, The Space Invader. Subsequently, we are having students with a presentation on chemistry for a better life who are here with their captivating health advice. After this, you will get to know how harmful some congenial looking articles could be. Hello and good evening, dear parents. Today, I, Shutish Bhattar, along with my fellow mates, Abhiral, Diksha, and Devit, in front of you all with our very own team project, the Space Invader, to talk in brief about the program. Please let me introduce Diksha Bhattar. Thank you, Shutish. Now, moving forward to know about the overview of the program. The main objective of the game named Space Invader is to pan across a screen and shoot the descending swamps of aliens that are the enemies from reaching the bottom of the screen. For running the spacecraft, we need to press the left or right key and for shooting the bullet, we need to press the space bar. Now, the enemy will descend one step down as it hit one of the, wall of the screen and if there is a collision between the spacecraft and the enemy, then the user would be eliminated. Now, moving forward to Divit for further detail. Thank you, Diksha. So first, we initialized Pi game and made a window where we will play the game. The whole window can be considered as a coordinate axis, with the horizontal being the x-axis and the vertical being the y-axis. Then we created various objects of the game, like player space shuttle, enemy space shuttle, and bullet. We set their coordinates and wrote statements that would change the position of these as the game continues. The major part of this game is controlled by the while loop. A loop is something that is used to run similar functions multiple number of times. The loop contains various statements that perform functions like changing coordinates of player, bullet, etc. At the last of the program, we have statements that would display the score at the right corner of the game screen and update the contents of the game window with each loop run. Now, let us move over to my friend Aviral who would be showing the gameplay of the Space Invader. Thank you, Devish. Here comes a short gameplay of Space Invader. The player controlling the space shuttle can only move across the screen and can shoot one bullet at a time. As soon as the bullet collides with the enemy object, player's score is increased and the object is transferred to the top of the screen and the game continues. I have fast forwarded the game to show what happens if the player is unable to hit an enemy. At last, the enemy collides with the bottom and the game is over. The following game can be downloaded by the given link. Just download the .exe file and extract it from the destination folder. After extracting the files, a folder named disk will be created. In the same folder, the final application is present. When we double click on that application, the game starts and it doesn't need a source code compiler. This way is commonly used by most of the professionals to send their game to anyone without sharing the source code of their game. So yeah, that's all for the program. We hope you people like this short and simple program. Thank you. Thanks. Greetings, everyone. I, Tanushree, along with my friends, Charlie and Asta, are here to present our topic on chemistry for better life. I'm 
training, they are unique substances that can be injurious to our life and can cause serious health problems. In this topic, we will cover some of the dangerous substances that we use in our daily life and are needed to be replaced or thrown away right now. So here we go with our first one, that are plastic containers. In our kitchen, we use plastic bottles, boxes and wrappers. But these plastics are made up of toxic materials such as BPA, biphenol A and BPS, biphenol L. When these toxic materials enter our body, it releases a hormone estrogen. According to the National Institute for the Food and Drug Administration, adverse effects of BPA include attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, obesity, diabetes, impaired brain development, and anxiety issues. For example, if we put hot cooked food in a plastic container, it releases a toxic which reduces our insulin sensitivity and increases the blood sugar level, due to which sex cells are generated, which eventually leads to obesity, increased health problems, and diabetes. So, it has a solution, which is, instead of plastic containers, we can use glass or stainless steel containers. The next hazardous substance that we use daily is the aluminium. It is used for storage and bakery purposes. But did you know that aluminium is a slow poison? And when we use aluminium foil, it brings aluminium into our food, which may increase the aluminium content of our diet. And high levels of aluminium in our diet have been suggested as one of the contributing factors towards the deadly Alzheimer's disease. Now, we cannot eliminate aluminium from our diet because it is a naturally happening substance in most of the foods that we eat. But we can minimize its use by using soft cotton cloth for wrapping the chapati and butter paper for bakery purposes, eliminating the use of aluminium for Coming to the next important substance that we use for our daily purpose is refined oil. Oil. Oil is a major ingredient in most Indian recipes. Refined oil is obtained by treating natural oil with numerous chemicals which are harmful. Moreover, number of studies tell us that the heating of refined oil can release harmful toxins and increase the percentage of trans fats in it, which may lead to heart problems, obesity and immune dysfunction. So, we should use natural oils like olive oil and mustard oil. We hope that you will minimize the use of plastic containers, aluminium foil, and refined oil. Thank you. Awesome. Those presentations were wonderful, and I hope you all enjoyed them too. Now, I'd like to request Mrs. Reema Khati to share her views regarding the school faculty about how they help your VAR to carry on with his studies and hobbies during the lockdown. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. I want to thank you publicly. And your commitment to this project is second to none. <clears throat> you have a winner's attitude. Thank you for sharing your vision. And uh, your commitment to excellence has inspired others. We appreciate your innovative thinking. And your attention to details put you at the top. And thank you for taking the initiative and getting it done. All work is very good. Mind blowing. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. We really appreciate your valuable feedback. Thank you. I'm sure most parents have always dreaded mathematics. But see, what fun it becomes when you get to learn it from the mathematics teachers of the school. They make it seem so easy and enjoyable by relating it to daily life examples and connecting it to real life. So we welcome the students with their wonderful presentation on mathematics. Next, we'll have a presentation on physical education, showing us the importance of yoga in our life. 
youth it's a union of atma and parmatma in the hustle and bustle of modern life our emotional stability declines but you prevent this by improving our concentration sharpening our memory and providing us with a state of mental equilibrium so here we come with the presentation on mathematics followed by another presentation on physical education greetings of the day everyone we are the students of class 11 are here to present some information about applications of trigonometry in real life trigonometry and its function have enormous number of uses in our daily life for instance it is used in geography to measure the distance between landmarks in astronomy to measure the distance of nearby stars and also in the satellite system trigonometric ratios are used in triangles as a connection between sides and angles in triangle there are mainly six trigonometric ratios namely sin theta which is perpendicular to hypotenuse cos theta which is base upon hypotenuse tan theta which is perpendicular upon base cot theta which is reciprocal of tan theta that is base upon perpendicular sec theta which is reciprocal of cos theta that is hypotenuse upon base and lastly cosec theta which is reciprocal of sin theta that is hypotenuse upon perpendicular trigonometric applications in real life trigonometry may not have direct applications but is used in various fields for example trigonometric is used in developing computer music as you are familiar that sound travels in the form of waves and its wave pattern through a sine or cosine function for developing computer music listed next are few application of trigonometry trigonometry to measure the height of a building or a mountain trigonometry is used in measuring the height of a building or a mountain the distance of a building from the view point and the elevation angle can be easily determine the height of a building using the trigonometric function the following picture illustrates the use of trigonometry to measure the height of a building or a mountain trigonometry in aviation aviation technology has evolved with many upgradations in the last few years it has taken into account the speed direction of the wind the wind plays a vital role in when and how a flight will travel this problem can be solved by using trigonometry for example if an aircraft is traveling at 250 miles per hour 35 degree north of east and the wind blowing due to south at 19 miles per hour this calculation will be solved using the trigonometry and find the third side of the triangle that will lead the aircraft in the right direction following picture illustrate the use of trigonometry in aviation suppose we know the x y and z coordinates of, of our origin and our destination where we want to reach so by making use of trigonometric ratio we can easily find out the angles and by knowing the angle we can determine the direction of our aircraft where we want to fly also we can find out the shortest route by which we can reach our destination trigonometry in criminology trigonometry is even used in the investigation of a crime scene the functions of trigonometry are helpful to calculate the trajectory of a projectile and to estimate the causes of a collision in a car accident Further, it is used to identify how an object falls or in what angle the gun is shot. Following picture illustrates the use of trigonometry in criminology. Trigonometry in navigation. Trigonometry is used in navigating directions. It estimates in what direction to place the compass to get a straight direction. With the help of a compass and trigonometric function in navigation, it will be easy to pinpoint a location and also to find distance as well as to see the horizon. Following picture illustrates the use of trigonometry in navigation. as a use of trigonometry it is used in creation of maps it is used in satellite system the fundamental trigonometric functions like sine and cosine are used to describe the sound and light waves at the end of the presentation we have the valuable credits given by our team members in making of the presentation this goes on leader and manager aryan presentation aditya video editing shivra this is all for our presentation hope you all enjoyed it and got to know about some information about trigonometry through our presentation the pain you feel today will be the strength you feel tomorrow good evening everyone respected parents teachers and my dear friends it would not be wrong if i say that all of us are aware of the pandemic covid-19 which has no doubt given us many lessons but a true test of fitness covid-19 is a massive global health crisis although imposing lockdown or quarantine of all services and activities by the authorities
has resulted in a radical change in the lifestyle of affected people. In this time, the ones who were fit emerged more immune to the virus as compared to the ones who were obese and diagnosed with chronic diseases. Fitness can be described as a condition that helps us look, feel, and do our best. It is also defined as one's ability to execute daily activities with optimum performance, endurance, and strength with the management of diseases, stress, and reduce sedentary behavior. Yoga. Yoga is a union of the body with the soul. It is a means through which we can attain inner peace. The great relaxing effect that yoga has on our mind has innumerable health benefits. During pandemic, yoga lead to risk reduction of COVID-19 by decreasing stress and improving. Yoga is something that is practiced, not learned. You need to perform certain asanas or poses that form the essence of yoga. It is believed that there is total number of 84 asanas in yoga, but this number may vary. Some asanas are easy like the Padmasana or the Lotus Pose, whereas some asanas are difficult like the Sarasana or the Headstand. Yoga is meant to be practiced by sitting on the ground as it connects you to the earth and transfers negative energy into it. I advise you to add yoga to your daily routine to know yourself and your body fully. Importance of Sports Nowadays, all of us are giving our first priority to academic qualifications. Most of us consider sports as an activity that doesn't promote mental development. But this is not the truth. All those who right now are parents were once students who used to go outside and play different kinds of games. But this generation is lacking that experience due to their student life. Students nowadays are spending most of their time in attending schools, extra classes and tuitions. There is no time for sports activities. Outdoor games develop intrapersonal skills such as leadership, self-discipline, self-confidence, decision-making, and etc. They promote a complete personality development of an individual. Team games like football and cricket not only improve teamwork, but also develop a sense of unity. Among the players. The players develop essential qualities like patience and acceptance of defeat. I hope that your views might have changed about sports after this and you will encourage your wards to indulge in sports activities. Wow, it was indeed a wonderful presentation by the students. As team parents have always been our constant support. So now, I call upon Mr. Dev Kumar to kindly unmute and give his valuable input regarding our school and how it touched the life of the students. So, we request you to also introduce yourself. Yeah, <laughs> good evening. Myself, Dev Kumar father of Charlie and Chitrakshi. My daughters are studying in ABBIL from class first. I sincerely appreciate the teachers of the ABBIL for their guidance, cooperation and sense of belongingness for the students. I would also like to add that the students' uh, uh, schools are organizing numerous uh, popular activities since beginning. And because of these activities and uh, studies, my daughters are performing very well both in academics as well as co-curricular activities. Last to last year when COVID pandemic started, online education was introduced and all parents were worried that how this will affect the education of their wards. Moreover, my daughters were in class 10 and this was a crucial stage of their life. But school managed very well and uh, all the classes were running very smoothly. Not only classes, in addition to the classes, the other uh, co-curricular activities were also going on parallelly. School has started various clubs, art and craft classes, yoga classes, and all these efforts by the school really helped the students in relieving the stress, supporting overall growth of the children. Lastly, coming to the today's event, student-led uh, conference, this was really a unique idea where school has provided the platform to the students to showcase their learnings, what they have learned throughout the year to their parents. This event was organized well. This was interesting and knowledgeable also. I would like to give my wishes for the bright future to all the students 
and uh, congratulations to the faculty team thank you thank you sir it was so wonderful to hear about it it is a morale booster for all of us we will continue with the same zeal to work in the future as well now we have one more round of an exciting game for you scramble words well 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 let me first tell you what the rules are a word in the jumbled order will be shown on your screen and you have to guess the correct word from the given word for example the given word is p l p e e o and can you guess the correct word ipo yes you guessed it right it's ipo as for the rules of the game you will get again 10 seconds and there will be four rounds you can unmute yourself and tell the answer so here we go for the round 1 given word is on your screen four four yes you guessed it right it's four so round 2 given word is on your screen happy yes it's right happy yes you are right it's happy now we go for round 3 given word is on your screen monkey monkey yes you guessed it right it's monkey we go for round 4 and the last round the word is on your screen country yes it's country country wonderful thank you for this active participation with this we come to the end of this fun game and thank you for being such a lovely audience Let's now welcome our honorable vice principal sir Mr Bijo Thomas he needs no introduction and is known among all of us for his wisdom and knowledge i would like to request our vice principal sir to bless us all with his benediction sir please uh good evening children good evening parents and teachers i hope i'm audible to all Yes sir. Okay. First of all students, congratulations for putting up a fantastic show. Right? I'd like to congratulate the students and the teachers uh who took the time for the busy schedule. Children, um a big kudos to you, right? In spite of your exams, the stressful schedule you had, right? You managed it and you were able you wanted to share your learning. It's a great achievement from your part, right? And the whole purpose of SLC uh is that you all will learn many things there right it's not just the skills which we learn but we also learn how in this of lot of activities we learn to manage and organize ourselves and all the participants right you showed that you are good organizers and tomorrow onwards you can really set an example for others also to follow and as uh, the purpose of this slc is that we share our learning and we become a lifelong learners and there's something which we will require as a lifelong skill right tomorrow you all will be going uh, as a ceos of your own company right so these are some of the skills which you need right and uh, i really appreciate that you took this initiative congratulations to the teachers and congratulations to the mentors who prepared them and guided for this uh i thank also like to thank the parents for the kind words right for sharing their ideas right uh, at this moment i would like to invite parents that they would like to share or give some suggestions which we can implement for any or we can implement from the next from the coming session uh the last two years were pandemic years where we had most of the things online now since we're going offline right so i would request that if you could suggest something where as a school we can work and look work and improve ourselves parents
गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग सर सर मैं सर देव कुमार आई वांट टू से समथिंग यस सर सर वी आर यूजिंग दिस ऑनलाइन मीटिंग टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड फ्रॉम लास्ट टू इयर्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस कोविड पीरियड एंड एक्चुअली बिकॉज़ विदाउट ए ऑनलाइन क्लासेस प्रोबेबली दिस स्टडीज वाज नॉट पॉसिबल आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड दिस इज नॉट ओनली क्लासेस नाउ वर्क फ्रॉम होम हैज बिकम ए कल्चर इन मोस्ट ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रीज राइट and uh, we know uh, every time uh, there are some advantages of a technology but uh, at the same time uh, the excessive use of uh, any technology has some limitations or the concerns so what i want to say here is um, now our homes has converted into office our homes has converted into schools and uh, what is happening is uh, uh, sometimes we have forgotten the limits of the days and times uh, in our work so every time everything is uh, uh, sorry every time everyone is engaged uh, in his or her mobile or laptop and uh, every screen time of all of us has increased multiple folds which is a concern for the health of everyone so what i would like to recommend to the uh, school authorities that uh, we must try to do our best to minimize the uh, use of online meetings and uh, try to reduce the screen time of the students now the covid period is reducing and uh, as much as possible we should uh, try to be physical as we are doing uh, sir so now since earlier we were mostly yeah, we were offline only right but the high but see the, as you said online and offline both have its advantage and disadvantages right so now since majority of our students are offline right uh, we majority of activities happen offline only so it happens in the physical school right but there are some places which we will be using the online maybe for extra support classes maybe for sharing the resources which continues right uh, apart from that and like even even for holding this kind of meetings right for which we will be sharing the notice but not as much as earlier right and uh, of course the advance notice is there so that parents also know parents can also keep a tab right how much time the child is there on the screen right so and uh, we always recommend that students uh, that all the information should reach the student before 6 right so that's something which we have been working for so the all the information is there before 6 so that also there's no whatsapp coming to you after 6 right so that probably will help you to reduce the screen time also right and also uh, it would be great if the parents can insist the same thing at home it's not always the school which can do it but uh, as a parent also we need to keep a tab right and uh, something which has been lacking in our students is the habit of reading right and pronouncing the words so probably in the evening if it can be encouraged that they switch a, they pick up take up books not electronic devices for reading right so that's something which we will be requ- requesting you also from how do you what all the parents also to do the same thing thank you for the consideration uh-huh. and uh, today's uh, this event was very well organized but uh, maybe next time whatever event you are going to organize please try to be a physical event uh, instead of online event i think that i will appreciate more right, thank you Anyone else? Okay, thank you all of you. Thank you, sir, for your words. It is always a pleasure to hear you and get enriched by your anecdotes. It is rightly said that gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues but the parent of all others. With this, I, Udit Brijwasi, take the privilege to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of the students of Grade Eleven PCM Group. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to all the honourable parents for having spared their valuable time for us and for your unflinching support that always motivates us. We are highly grateful to our honourable principal sir, vice principal sir, and headmistress madam for their guidance and encouragement. We also owe a deep sense of gratitude to our honourable chairperson, Madam Manjushri Khatan, and the school management for creating wonderful opportunities to enhance learning and providing us with a platform like SLC to exhibit the glimpses of our on-campus learning. 
A big thank you to all the participants and our mentors. As all good things have to come to an end, thank you everyone for your time, effort, and patience. We surely hope that we will have many such events in the near future. Thank you all and have a beautiful evening. Thanks. Thank you. So with this, we come to the end of the